Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Rogue Legacy. Last time, Lady Rydia the Knave fell in battle, so now we pick our new heir. Adia the Second is a mage with ADHD, so she goes faster and has a blade wall. Sir Janus is a barbarian with a blade wall and no other traits. There's actually an achievement for picking a no-trait person. And Malhur the Mage is ambivalous, which means two left hands can't uh, cast spells properly. I actually don't know what that means in-game. Rydia left us 590 gold, and we chose Adea. Now let's see what we can buy from the Enchantress. I always like to buy weapon or enchantment upgrades before I do any other upgrades. So we'll go ahead and get this vault rune, which will allow me to do a double jump. And I've got 240 left over. What should I get? I can get a sword. Nope, 10 short for the short, 150 uh, for the helm, 200 for the squire limbs. Man, I wish I had 10 more. Um, uh, yeah, let's spend as much as we can. Yeah, let's let's get these. All right, so we have our first upgrade, and yeah, you do get some visual changes when you buy new armor. And just to demonstrate, blade wall again here, blade barrier uh, is a physical barrier, but also deals damage to enemies that are on it. It's pretty expensive though. 40 gold. I have nothing to spend. Alright. Well, so there's a double jump and a dash. So now we got quite a bit of maneuverable opportunities here. Very, very mobile now. So let's do this. Alright. As usual, we still want to try and farm as much money as possible. I don't think we've found all the possible armor or runes. So, we'll go ahead and, or I should say, in the main castle area, I don't think we found them all. Ouch. Alright. So, the Archmage and the Mage recover mana when they kill an enemy. So, effectively it means they have a very small amount of mana regen, so every few enemies or so that you kill, you can cast another spell. So, if your mage is lucky enough to have a good spell, other than Blade Barrier, uh, you can periodically use it to kill enemies a lot easier than just... Sorry about that. Uh, ow! Uh, than just... Uh, hitting them with your sword. All right. Lots of tight, tight shots here. It's a good idea to, when you're first learning this game, to take your time focus more on avoiding damage than uh, actually killing enemies. Aggression can get you killed pretty quick if you're not careful. Ah! Oh man, one more hit. Gotta be careful. Ah! And Adea the Second has fallen. It's a pretty unforgiving game. But let's go ahead and roll another heir. Actually, take a look here. So, whoever your last heir is, they make a little collectible card of them that you can view at the beginning anytime you want. Um, this time around, uh, you know, uh, I was at level six and. Uh, Played a mage. So now, who do we have? Zimbar the mage, stereo blind, who can't see in 3D. Rydia the second, who has baldness and glaucoma. Baldness means no, no headdress, no hair. And uh, Lady Lulu the knave, dextrocardia and EHS. 
I don't know what EHS does. Uh, glaucoma actually makes the levels dark, which can be very difficult, especially later on. Let's go ahead and go with Sir Zimbar. Uh, get some male characters going here. 280 gold to work with. Man, I wish I had more. Come on, can't I put a down payment on it? Hmm. I guess I could get my damage up since he's a mage. Can't think of what else to spend it on, maybe. else can the enchantress... Oh yeah, there's the stereo there. Got both of those. What's that? Retaliation. Thorns Aura. Damage taken, deals damage back. I don't know if that's worth it, though. Well, let's see. We could possibly get a new sword. Or the helm. Let's get that sword. Alright, so now I have a slightly darker colored sword that deals more damage. I also have scythes as my uh, spell of choice. Very useful kind of a spread shot effect. Unfortunately, uh, it, it only hits slightly above and in front, or very much above and in front of you. So it's not too good for taking out enemies below you. But still, it's a pretty decent one. It's better than the blade wall, but it's still pretty expensive for what it does. Alright. So because I am stereo blind, every time an enemy turns, it does a Paper Mario style flip. Ow! Well, there's like half my life in one hit. Luckily, uh, that fire mage can't hit me through the wall. Ha! Alright, what else do we have? Ah, got a Doomvis with that. Nice. Thought there were too many portraits over there. Alright. Ah! Didn't kill it at the right time. Jeez, one more hit and I'm dead again. Let's see if we can't get this angle right here. There we go! Two skeletons, one blade. If only I'd done it the first time. Alright. Doing pretty good for mana. Doing god awful for health. Uh, lots of barrels. Let's just take it slow here. Unfortunately, when things are shooting you from off screen, sometimes it's difficult to take things slow. Easy does it. Oh. That uh, scythe is actually coming in handy for these tight quarters. Oh, good. What do we got? Night Helm. Alright. Well. At least if we die, we got a new upgrade, but man, this is not a good start. Okay... Ah! Uh, once again, my nemesis, a charite. Well... Let's go ahead and roll another, shall we? Who will be the lucky uh, heir this time? Lady Cherry... Lady Fran, both barbarians, Sir Vargas. He's got the Chakram and OCD. OCD's pretty good. Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. So, uh, any item that you break grants one MP, which is pretty handy if you want to. I know, I know, I need to unlock that. Um, grants one MP every time you break something. Ten gold short. Why? Mm, I'm pretty sure I can't afford any enchantments. Definitely not. Alright. Well, let's put it in a stat upgrade, I guess. Mm, every time you upgrade a stat upgrade, it gets more expensive the next time around. Alright. There's your money. Let's 
give it another go. Alright, so once again we're playing a Barbarian. He's got a nice big healthy pool of health. Oh yeah, there's OCD collecting one MP at a time there. That sword upgrade's pretty nice though, because now uh, my base damage as a Barbarian is high enough that it's almost the same as an, uh, an unaltered vanilla knight. So I can hit kill a lot of enemies in one hit instead of two that I couldn't kill before. Gotta watch out for these retractable spikes down here. The moment I touch them, even if I'm just walking through them or jumping across them, they're gonna spring. Careful here. All those breakable items ha probably have money in them, so it's worth my time to try and collect them. Ooh. That was not worth it. Just gotta go faster, I guess. Alright, I don't think there's anything else here. Tricky. Just watch the timing and don't stop. Alright. Nice, 100 gold. Could have been more, but oh well. It wasn't very difficult to get. Ah, shoot. Alright. I really should be using my chakrams more for all the MP I'm going to get back from breaking furniture. Jeez. Die. Hate those charites. Alright. Ooh, health. Gotcha. Darn it. Uh, no. Mm, no, no, not gonna fight those guys. Too much trouble, probably not worth killing. They might be, but I just, I don't feel confident in being able to take them out right now. Nice tight quarters. What we got here... Couple of corrupt knights, some spikes, things to break. Not too hard. Easy zombie kill there. Oh shoot! Go, 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 gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, 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 go. Ah, oh, so close. That's only possible with a dash rune, and you gotta have either quick reflexes or multiple dash runes and slightly quick reflexes. I'm guessing there's no way to restart that. Nope. Shucks. Well, next time I'll have to remember that. I've never seen a uh, fairy chest that had the requirement reach me in X amount of seconds. That room wasn't even dangerous. Whoa. Wonder if I can take these guys. Uh, give it a try with some chakrams. Oh! Totally underestimated their range. Yep, I definitely should have picked the other child. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please uh, subscribe and I'll see you next time.